The automotive industry is very complex. It is filled with competition and innovation, and all manufacturers today have become much more competitive. Quality is increasing, the overall vehicles are becoming better, and most importantly, the technology is being adopted across these type of vehicles. The industry does not stand still. I have to say today, Toyota is not going to stand still. This year, our president, Akio Toyota of Toyota Motor Corporation in Japan, made a new global vision. That global vision is carried out through Toyota, and there's two precepts of that that are very important I'd like to share with you today. The first issue is Toyota's respect for the planet, and the second item is our commitment to lead the way to future mobility. So today, I'm proud to say that we are taking this new product to meet that vision of our president, Akio Toyota. Officially, here today in Woodstock, TMMC is going to be the first plant in North America to build a Toyota electric vehicle. <clears throat> this vehicle will be the highest quality in the marketplace, but most importantly, the first electric vehicle, and we will build that product in Woodstock. Thank you. The great news for us, the vehicle will be RAV4 EV, built by Toyota and powered by Tesla. The RAV4 EV was a very strongly supported project from our government partners in Project Greenlight in the investment package that was recently announced on July 5th at our facility in Cambridge. But both the federal and federal governments assisted us in this incentive package. The ongoing strong support from the government of Canada and the government of Ontario will help lead Toyota to our next 25 years of doing business. This is a great opportunity for us. In a global economy, change is relentless, and the competition can be ruthless. And then there are natural disasters that can strike without warning, like the tragedy that struck Japan. But through it all, You've shown amazing resolve and persistence and resilience. And on behalf of all Ontarians in a province that prides itself on being the number one auto producer in North America, thank you for your hard work and enduring success. And thanks for living the motto that I read in the Toyota brochure, working together to make things better. That's what we're doing in Ontario, working together to make things better, like our schools, healthcare, like our economy. As I mentioned a moment ago, Ontario is already the number one producer of cars in North America. Now we're going to make Ontario the number one place for clean energy and manufacturing. Making electric vehicles is an important part of that plan. Toyota's decision to choose Ontario for the RAV4 EV is important for all of us. For Woodstock, it means secure jobs making the kind of vehicles that the world wants. For Ontario, it shows that innovative companies know our province is the place to build clean tech products. And for our shared future, it means we'll be strong because we're building a strong clean energy and manufacturing economy right now. We've just been through a recession. We understand how competitive a global economy is. We know we can't control global economic events, but we and we can't control confidence, for example, in the EU or the U.S. economies. But we can inspire confidence in our own economy. And that's why we're taking steps to grow stronger, like partnering with Toyota here today, like rebuilding our electricity system, like adopting the HST. We don't do these things because they are easy. We do them because they are necessary and because we are inspired by the example set by our parents and grandparents who worked so hard to build a bright future for us. And now it's our turn to build something better, something strong for our children and grandchildren. The people here at Toyota know full well succeeding in the global economy isn't easy, isn't easy but the effort is worth it and the reward is great. My friends, we have a plan for a clean future that includes electric cars. Our goal is to have one in every 20 vehicles be electric by 2020. To help Ontarians get there, we're offering incentives of up to $8,000 $500 off the purchase price of your electric vehicle. 
We know that. As more and more economies chase a diminishing supply of oil and gas, those prices are only going one way. They're going up. We also know that renewable technologies, just like our flat screen TVs and our DVD players and so many other technologies, those prices will keep coming down. Today can cost $70 to fill up your car with gas. To travel the same distance with an electric car costs $7. Today's announcement is an important step towards a cleaner, brighter, and more affordable future for Ontario families. So congratulations to the workers here and to Toyota for working together to make things better. Thank you for helping to create a stronger, better, brighter future for Ontario, the greatest province, the best country in the world. Thank you very much. Good morning and thank you for joining us uh, this morning. Uh, Premier, Ministers, uh, Monsieur le Ministre Paradis, merci pour me, votre présence ici aujourd'hui. Well, today, we are making history with a new RAV EV. So when you think about our history, as Brian has mentioned, we are celebrating 25th anniversary. 25 years ago, when Toyota decided to invest in North America, they thought, well, maybe a big plant in Kentucky, a small plant in Cambridge. That matched pretty well how much volumes we sell in, in each uh, regions. Well, I can tell you that that was not good enough for us. So when I look at this plant that we have behind, so obviously we've expanded to Cambridge after this major growth to 97 to 200,000. Then we got the announcement about the Solara, then we got the Lexus, then we were at the 300,000. And right in the backdrop is the most advanced, technologically advanced uh, plant of Toyota in the world. And with this uh, plant, Last year, we produced 458,000 vehicles, which made us in a top five biggest plant, Toyota plant in the world, which is an amazing thing from a small little plant to one of the biggest in the world. So today, as we prepare to begin building the RAV EV, we're turning a new chapter. We're making history into the, the future. Team MC will lead the way by building the new RAV EV. Being involved with leading edge technology is a great opportunity to motivate all of us, our people, our suppliers, to always think about who can do things better and for, for, for us and for the environment. This is an excellent example of Toyota's commitment and determination to collaborate with some of the companies that have high technology, innovative technology. So in closing, we're looking forward to meeting the, ex the, ex the expanding expectations of our customer and our investors. This is an excellent opportunity and a great way to launch our second quarter here in Canada. Merci and thank you.